So, I'm gonna do this vlog. This is my second night in a row eating IHOP. But this night here wasn't planned. Let me start from the beginning. <laughs> so I went out with my homegirl Saturday night. And she kind of had to twist my arm. And she was like, well, if you don't want to go. And I was like, Tanya, get out of the house, bro. All you're doing is becoming a drunk auntie that doesn't have... Your brother won't give you a niece or nephew just quite yet. But you're a drunk until you're getting drunk off of wine. You do that every weekend. You smoke a little bit, but you're being content staying in the house and getting drunk off wine. It's getting so bad, it's like you're drinking from the bottom. So I was like, man, let me put some clothes on. Let me put some real clothes on. Stop wearing that funky house dress and let me go. So, Oh. So line tip, this thing good. Okay. So it's my best friend's friend. They work together and they develop a beautiful relationship. Her daughter spending a night with her. It is so funny. It's a small world because my best friend friend daughter is in my daughter's class her her daughter had to start pre-k a little later because of her birthday so i met her friend once before we went to like a halloween truck or treat so she, she invited me and i was like let me go ahead and go with my my home girl my sister kate she and i ain't been out together in a while had a great time kind of like try to get my little pregame, but I was rushed. Takes me takes me a lot longer to roll up my uh, cigar with my nails, of course. So that didn't, that didn't roll well. So, her homegirl asked, does Tanya smoke? And she said, yeah, she's smoking that. So we get in the club. It's two chain spots. Um, it's in a, it's it's in it's in Morrow, at the street. Nice little spot. Used to be a restaurant, but it's crowded. It didn't cost anything to get in, but I'm mad. I had to pay twelve dollars for a drink. I don't understand. So, yeah, I think it's a uh, a lesbian hookup type thing because there was a lot of them in there. They were beautiful. It was um. I don't want to offend if anybody ever watches in the, um, in the gay community. Are you allowed to say stud without being derogatory? Is it a derogatory term? And there were some films in there. I talked about this in my story. I was standing to the bar, my story on Instagram, in the film. Out of nowhere, she just starts dancing with me, and my back is turned. And I was saying that I enjoyed it because she had a nice, plump, beautiful, round ass. It was very sculptured. It was soft. But I also felt violated because she didn't ask. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of people that invade your, 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 your personal space, and they just don't give them that one drunk or not. Show for to eat it. <laughs> French toast. I don't know. I don't know French toast. That was a tomato. Tomato, potato. I'm so distraught. That's why I'm gonna be talking out my 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 neck here. But you're gonna understand the biological order of these events. <laughs> so I'm standing at the bar, back turn, and then she just she just starts rubbing her nice big booty. Booty is juicy, it's beautiful. And I'm turning out like, what the fuck? Somebody showed bumping it to me for a long time at first, but I was like, oh, she's dancing on me. Hmm. I've never been to like a gay bar. 
But is that your way of saying you like somebody or do, do you assume everyone, I mean, I, I, I don't have a problem with it. I, I, I dance back, believe me. What little I had to offer, I rubbed it against that. It's just that she didn't ask. <laughs> And I think our stud friends hyped up to it. Because I, I made her night. I made her night. She was blushing and everything. Oh. Huh? My best friend. Um, she was kind of hating because I gave her my phone to record. And all of a sudden, she couldn't work it. She got everything else but that. Had a nice night. I was toe up. I, ain't, I can't even cap to you. Her homegirl, my best friend's homegirl, wanted me to roll the cigar. For some reason, I like an idiot, I I guess I was trying to be cool. I mean, I can roll, but I have to use extra lubricant, spit, saliva. But it's for, it's for me, so I don't mind. But I also use like a, 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 knife, a, like a plastic knife. I, and <laughs> I tried to bust it down with my nails and it was so ugly. But I, I, she did it like an expert, like with this. So you're a crackhead. <laughs> like you, you, and it was perfect. It was like, I know it's probably a line for it because I find it with the knife. But I feel like I could do it perfect without, it's less error for me to do it with the butter knife, a plastic butter knife, than for me trying to do it with the line. So I did it with my nail. It didn't come out good. So she saw me struggling and rolled it and like, a minute and a half. Bitch, it was yours to begin with. Why did you hand it to me? If you could have did that, you should have just did it. You should have just did it. Now I feel like a lame. I feel like I owe her a cigar just because I messed it up. And I'm like, well, fuck, forget it. So I apologize a couple times for that. What a what a group of girls. I I, I felt some kind of hate. Some little hate, you know, little hate stares. They're like, hmm. You know, they'll look at you, but then, especially this one um, older lady. She had a nice little body now. I ain't gonna lie to you, but she was kind of like, she knew she was a shit to be her age. And I want to say she was 68 and a half. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. She was 68 and a half. She thought she was sexy because she had blonde hair. It was spiked. She had a velour suit and was coming off her shoulders. I'm dancing. She don't really speak to me all night. But when I'm dancing, this is the only thing she said to me. I said, excuse me, about five times. She ain't moved yet. All right, bitch. Why do you have on open-toed shoes? Like, I know I have my chest out a lot. But like, I feel like I I cover I I I I have on a fur jacket. You I mean that's okay? You going to the club? You might have some see through. You got on open toe shoes in fucking January. Hey, I'm not a fashionista. I'm not got my own wear style. But you really thought you was cute. You ain't got no boots. You got on a velour. I love velour. Don't get me wrong. Certain things I won't wear to the club, though. Unless it's a velour skirt or whatever. But it was like a pantsuit. You could have wore that. And she, I guess she thought it was sexy because it was off the shoulder right here. Bitch, you made it do that. And it, <laughs> that's it. Came up here. You didn't have nothing to wear sexy. So you pulled it down like this. Let's pull that shit back up. And go get your Medina running shoes that goes with that stupid ass outfit. All right. So we stay there. I'm getting hungry because we don't have a table. We go to IHOP. I'm, I'm, I'm ordering the same thing I had last night. So uh, tips. It's very delicious. Oh. You know. Oh. And Grandma Ma. And my best friend, my best friend's friend, the one that she's so, you know, she be calling me, we did this, we did that. 
her little daughter go play with her daughter. And know she rubbing it in. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You know? I, I, I have a handful with my five year old. I love, I love your child to death. But if you think she's going to come over and have a play date every other weekend, you sadly mistaken. <laughs> she can go ahead and be your best friend forever. Because that ain't happening this and here away. She knows me already by now, though. Ain't nothing but love in my heart. So now they all close and they good friends. So, you know, in the club, I was talking to my best friend. And here she come pull up a chair beside me. I was getting a little, I was getting a little jealous. I ain't even going to lie. Because I'm like, excuse me. We were talking pierced. I know it's your party. But, <laughs> so... When I'm dancing, I'm, I'm feeling myself. They had a cute little co-worker that I did ask to be my girlfriend. She said she had a boyfriend. But she saw I put her in my story. She was looking at my phone. She looked at me a couple of times. She was intrigued, you know. But anyway, when I was up dancing, my best friend, friend, and the older lady, they were looking at each other, like, looking at it from the side, and I saw them. It's cool, though. It's so cool. You wanted me to come. You met me once at a trunk or treat. Now, this is how I feel. <laughs> no hate in my blood whatsoever. But you wanted me to come. Like, we've hung out before, so... You probably saw the way I really dress, and you probably was like, wow, you know? <laughs> And like I said, I don't never toot my own horn. I have plenty of flaws. I need to get my skin work done. I'm trying to drink my water, although I got this Pepsi. I deserve it. My stomach is going down a little bit. I'm drinking more water. Uh, it's, 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 it's a lot of things I, I want to work on, but you can't get mad if I get a little attention, you know, people. They are intrigued by certain things. Stop. You shouldn't have invited me. You, what you thought I was going to look how I look after I got off work? I mean, come on. My hair might be the same. You know, because it's nappy. It's my natural hair. I love my nappy hair, actually. That's that's one of, one of the most favorite things I like about myself is my hair. If I was talking about something on my body. It's just that I know it's like very coarse and like a brittle pad and it's fried. So it's worse and it was raining, but it's my hair. So I like it. So what you, what you thought? You, 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 you thought I was going to come in some, some leggings? <laughs> you thought I was going to come in that bitch with some pleather leggings like y'all. I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, when I was a lot younger, I was into clothes, 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 clothes. Now that I'm older, I mean, I know I got some pieces, but they're, if I'm running somewhere, to tell you the truth, I don't care what I got on but if I'm going out, I try my best to be like, all right. She do something together that I ain't think would look right, but it look all right. Another stud was like, oh, you look so cute. I like your outfit. And I was like, thank you, mama. Now, excuse me, can I get past you, please? So we go to IHOP and... Uh, the service there was horrible, but we was toe up from the floor. So we was getting frustrated. My food came. I ate it like a donkey, bro. I I I should have been embarrassed. But I wasn't. I don't care. Who cares? Anyways, you, you got to judge me. And I know you're going to go to my best friend. And I know y'all going to talk about me like a dog. And I know she's not going to take up for me. I mean, I, I, I hate to be that... Um, 
That, but that's, that's reality, you know. It's gonna come, and they're gonna be asking why she this, why this, why that, and then, hmm. all right. Other than that, under those hateful little, oh, okay. Let me let me remind when I'm at the table with these guys. So where's my little guy? Where's my baby? Okay. Huh. My favorite person in the whole wide world right now. Okay, Miss 68 and a half. She make her some coffee and got like honey and shit going. So my purse was on the table. And she spent about it. It's no big deal. I wanted to be petty though. Because she just cause what she said to me in the club. Cause this is like really hard. I could have wiped it. And then stain it. But she didn't say she was sorry. So I kept looking at my purse and looking at the spot. Looking at my purse. Looking at the spot, looking at her. I did about three times. I ain't even gonna count to you. Yeah, she told me, oh my bad. Yo bad, man. I'll knock you clean up out that little suit. And them stupid ass heels that don't go with that. Damn fucking church. You know what? So, yeah. Yeah, you ain't gonna try to kid. I ain't saying I know how to fight. I might I might lose. I might get my ass wally walked. <laughs> you know, I ain't no fighter. But I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a Let me stop talking crap. But you ain't gonna punk me is what I'm saying. Like you ain't finna like like I'm gonna let shit roll off. Cause if I would have did that to you, you'd have been highly upset if I spilled my drink and didn't say I was sorry, or at least try to wipe whatever I spilled it on. I don't really think it got. I think it got to like where his teeth at, right here. But it, uh, the fact of the matter is, ho, your beverage touched my pocketbook. So. We at the table and I'm rocking back and forth. Because, bitch, I'm zooted at this point. And I do that a lot when I'm. So I pushed the table hard. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Here goes my best friend, friend. Oh! What the? I said, I said I was sorry. And I said it was some bass. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to figure out what that was. Bitch, you know what this was. It was that motherfucking force. You better, I mean, like I said, <laughs> I ain't saying I'm a fighter, but you ain't finna try to chump me and embarrass me like I didn't do that on accident and I didn't say I was sorry. Like I was just, I did just something. Yeah, like I flipped the whole goddamn table over or something. But if you don't take this excuse me, the fuck? So, all in all, I, I get a night. I had a good time because I got to up. I get about an eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. So, it's a Sunday today. I said, oh, I'm going to go see Bad Boys for Life. I'm going to treat myself. And I'm going to go to this theater that my coworker told me about in Smyrna because this is where I'm going to drop my daughter off. And my mom lives in Smyrna, Georgia. It's where you eat, you eat, you eat there, and you watch the movie. Ah, uh, but my dumb ass. This is my fault, solely my fault. <laughs> mm. Okay. I ain't had no gas. I thought I had more gas than that. I was like, ah. <clears throat> It'll make it. I, I got this. Oh, it made it all right. <laughs> The only thing is because they started working on the road and they had two lanes blocked for no reason. I mean, they work on the roads not for no reason, but the workers were just riding up and down the side. They had blocked out. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? And not anything. Y'all sitting here wasting these taxpayers' dollars. So, I had to sit in traffic. It's not moving. They're not idle. I'm itching. 
I'm eating. Get almost to the exit. Here got my car. Oh hell. I ain't never mad or like I'm smiling going on because it's like it's funny because I brought it to myself. And I was like, well, what I'm gonna do? But see, God works in mysterious ways. If you I hope I don't, you know, I believe in a higher being, but two men. I guess they, were, they patrol the street and tell people to move about the way. But they, as soon as I got over, they was like, yeah, I, I was like, no, I'm running out of gas. They was like, oh, man. They was like, can you make it? We'll, um, we'll tell, tell you. Sir, I ran out of fucking gas. If I'm moving, if I'm getting over. And you see I'm not supposed to be in that lane. I got, I, you, you keeping people from going in that lane. Why the You think I'm just going to, I said, sir, I've run out of gas. I know I got, I, I know I got a push button start. But do you think I can like switch it to like autopilot mode and then like my jet Fuels come out in the back, and I just, I don't, so anyway, they got my broken gas tank on the back, had to use a funnel and stuff, and here comes the Mac Daddy when they get back, and I was like, oh my God, it wasn't a bad looking guy, but of course his homeboy looked better, and that's just the story of everybody's life, and it looked more my age too, so he was like, why is a beautiful girl like you by yourself, and what do you girls do that right on E like that? I was like, a lot of women have the same problems I do. We, we hate getting gas. We just simply hate it. And I really thought, I'm going to stop doing this though before my engine barely goes past 60,000 miles. I need to stop doing it, but shit. <laughs> but he was like, do you have a boyfriend? And I was like, no, blase, blase. Here we go. Why? Because you, y'all are trash. You are dog doo-doo with... Flies coming out the fecal matter, right, man? <laughs> Maggots and buzz. Look, look at me talking about it. I don't even care, girl. I'm eating and I'm talking about this disgusting stuff. That's how pissed off I am. Yeah! But I'm not mad at them because they helped me. They gave me a lot of gas. I had a big ass one, too. A big, so I got 88, I'm 88 miles to the empty. I coasted to my mama house. You know, and then the other, the other guy was like, dang. You get numbers and shit. I'm doing all the work. He was like, my eyes were like I got snot coming out my nose. And I was like, bruh, I wish she would ask me for my number instead. And I and I was like, I asked the guy, I was like, how old are you? He was like 27. I was like, I can't go, I can't go that young. That's that's the problem. It's not, well, I like older women. Oh, shut up. Y'all say the same damn thing until we start treating you like a little boy. Like a real little kid, like, where you going? You ain't got your coat on. Bone it up, it's cold outside. Make your bed up before you. Not like in a wife, it'd be like in a motherly tone. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what I think that's what they want. Like, <laughs> anyway, let me get, <laughs> let me get a hot. So, I don't know what my mama has. She's trying to be jury now because I'm I got into it. She made me this. It's so pretty. And I stole the, the one bracelet. She didn't want me to take it, but I took it. Anyway. So the original um movie three, I was going to a Marietta. They exchanged my ticket with no problem. But the the showtime was at 10. I was like, bro, I'm not staring at 10 o'clock. So, like a diamond. I Chose Buckhead. Hey, let's see. Worst mistake in my freaking life. I get there. First of all, it's hard to find. I'm not a downtown or navigator or. I'm going around in a circle. Who is it? Me. I don't know you, bro. <laughs> Who told you to go somewhere without uh, consulting me first? You thought I was a Camara? Huh? 
Huh? Do that, Lucky Rare. No, I didn't know what happened. Huh? I didn't know what happened. Hurry along, I'm doing a. a blog. What you want to go do? So? Yeah, I think you want to go sell drugs. I need half of that profit, son. I didn't do anything. Wait a minute. So, I go there. Oh, I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Are you going to look or something? Yeah, I'm trying to. If you shut up and go back in your room. <laughs> How many views are you going to get in this one? Two? Three? <laughs> That's always a hater. But anyway. So... I chose uh, Bucket. Like I said, I'm not a downtown or navigator person. I have no sense of direction. And Siri was like, I was like, bro, where is this place? So I find it. I go. Seat myself. That's a nice little establishment. But it's the dumbest fucking idea. Who thought it was so dandy to serve food, full course meals, and, 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 Bro, my showtime was 7.30. Previews was 30 minutes. Movie started like 7.55. Shy. Just shy of 30 minutes. The, the, I pressed the button for my food, you know, thinking I'm doing something fancy, you know. I'm in bucket, you know. So she comes. I get a coat because I'm going to get a nasty, thick, juicy, fat woman burger, you know, because I, I, I just missed my cheat date. So... She brought my coke in like six minutes. It's eight. Eight thirty. Nine o'clock, bro. I don't have no fucking food. And everybody, I'm just looking at them. Like, thinking they food. So tears started welling up in my eyes. I can't even cap to you. I started crying. I ain't ate all day. But I had six fucking granola bars and a thing of water. So I pressed a button. She could come back. After so long now. You didn't get your food. <sighs> Bitch! What it look like. This gentleman beside me had his plate to the side. He ate. He <laughs> I'm sitting over there starving. I got the shakes. That's that's the stupidest guy. Whoever invented that is so dumb because like the waitress and waiters in the way it's smaller. It's intimate, I guess, but it's some bullshit, bro. I'm finna I'm finna jailbreak my fire stick and watch some movies at the house. Yeah. I go get my I'm good. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. You're gonna do it. <laughs> bro, I'm never going to the movies again, bro. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Was she gonna jailbreak? <laughs> and go look at my car. I've seen it. What happened to it? it was, I, so you got scratches and brown. It was brown. So when I left from the the parking deck, that's how I was trying to get into because I was so mad to get my food that I just backed into it. You, you backed into your. You're retarded. What do you love? You try driving it. That's insane. I don't even care. You know what? I was so mad when I was riding down the street. I was still smiling like. <laughs> Like, it didn't even matter at that point. Like, I don't give a fuck well, anymore. I, so, your barber just fall off? What happened? I didn't really look into it, but I see, like, a lot of scratches on the side. Yeah. What do you mean, did my bumper fall off? I don't know. It, I it, hit it. I hit a, a pillar, whatever stupid ass thing. Parking deck. Buckhead AMC is some trash. I should have went to the ghetto and they have food. <coughs> That's why I get for talking shit. I'm joking. It's ghetto. Come here! Oh, you so Yes. Yeah. So I'm ugly now. <coughs> and it wouldn't make a difference because I'm going to fix it. But now I'm in the fender part. Why would you do that? You think I did it on purpose? Well, I mean, you thought you didn't care anymore. I don't care. I don't. I don't. Who cares? <laughs> you need to re retake driving classes. Cause I don't, you don't know how to drive. Do you have your permit yet, though? Can you, do I have my birth certificate? Oh. 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 oh I think okay. you're my child, actually. Okay. I don't, I'm talking to the second guest, too. <laughs> I have no information. I don't know why. I could go missing and no one would confide me. You what? No one knows my name in the books. <laughs> I can 
go missing, no one find me. I have your original birth certificate, so it's Where? just so raggedy. Hell, you use it. They're not gonna use it. They can't see your name. Yeah, accept it. You can just go up there. They said they said if you don't need it, all this idea you're my mother, my mother. You can go up there with Okay, that. I can go and take anybody child up there. They have a story now on Lifetime where this lady abducted a child and she raised that child the whole and the the girl grew up thinking that was her real mom. Yeah. And I probably did that to you, but I should have just threw you away. <laughs> so Where's my work zoom at? I can fix it. You cannot fix it. What are you gonna do to it? I don't know, look at it. That's what sister just cut in half. No, it's, she did her social like that. She ripped her social. Oh. Nobody's driving shit. <laughs> I know. That's the way I was, I was just had no life. I had no mother or dad my whole life, and I grew up in the streets. Who grew up in the streets? That's what I'm about to say, get my own. I'm never gonna get a job. I'm gonna get homeless when I grow up. No, you're not. Yeah. You're always gonna live with me. You can start by washing my windows. I'm <laughs> 75. You'll take that Windex. And do what? Spray the windows. In the house? My no. car. Am I driving? No. I'll give you $3. I see if I'm driving the car, but I'm not. I'll be cleaning this. That car will be spotless if I'm driving it, but I'm not. Screw you, Kiara! <laughs> <laughs>